So what I'm going to do is when you are cutting, you never want to go flat handed and cut like this because you will probably cut your fingers off. So you always want to go like a claw. And when you're going in a claw, you just cut like this and move back. When cutting a round object, it's dangerous to use the claw method because it could roll around and you could cut yourself. So when cutting a round object, you would use the tunnel method, which is similar to the claw method, but safer when cutting a round object. I'm cutting it on this side because the, this side has bumps and it would roll around. So when I'm cutting it, I use the tunnel method and you make a tunnel with your hand and then I cut it. So when you're cutting with the chef's knife, um, you always have room for your knuckles. When you're washing a knife, you have a couple different options. If you want to let it soak, you can put it in a bath of uh, water with no soap in it. Or if you need to let it soak with soap in it, you can take a pick a pitcher or a large glass. You can put your knife in it and let it soak. When you are washing your knife, you should always rinse it first. And then you want to take your rag or your sponge and run it on the dull side of the knife. Then you can work on the handle. And then you can set it on the dry. As soon as you're ready to wash your knife, you never want to put it in soapy water because then somebody could accidentally cut themselves reaching in. A serrated knife is for softer objects like cakes and tomatoes and stuff like that because the saw blade cuts through it without damaging it. And then like the chef's knife that cuts through it and damages it. As soon as you're done cutting, you always want to wash it as soon as you can. And sometimes, if your cutting board is too slippery, put a towel under it so it doesn't move around as much. Um, depending on a knife and uh, you're going to walk to the sink or something, you put the point down and then you say knife and then you just walk. When you are cutting, you always have to cut on a cutting board because if you don't, you can damage the surface area that you're cutting on. Okay, so when you have a knife, which yes, this is a spatula, but when you have a knife and it falls off, you don't want to just try and catch it because you'll really cut the finger. And so what you want to do is if it falls off, you jump out of the way and don't catch it 